Perhaps you've been stuck in traffic coming back to St. Louis from Lake of the Ozarks. Well, Missouri Governor Mike Parson is promoting a nearly $3 billion expansion project on Interstate 70. He's doing so this week. Fox News' Laura Simon is joining us live in Forestell, where the governor just signed some legislation a few minutes ago. Laura? John, yes, that is correct. The governor just signed House Bill 4, which essentially allows this I-70 expansion to happen. And he's actually out here right now talking with media outlets like us and also other people out there at this press conference today. Despite the rainy weather, you can see quite a few people out here very excited for this project because I-70 is essentially an almost 70-year-old interstate and construction is necessary at this point in time, according to leaders out here today. And construction is going to start sometime next summer in Wentzville and the work's expected to ease congestion on the heavily traveled interstate between St. Louis and Kansas City. So this is a statewide project. It's a 200 mile stretch of I-70. It'll start right here in St. Charles County and go all the way to Blue Springs, which is just outside KC. The bill Governor Mike Parson just signed is, as John mentioned, a nearly $3 billion plan to expand this stretch of I-70 from two lanes to three lanes. A lot of sections of I-70, especially in more rural areas like where we're reporting to you from today, are only two lanes right now. And back when the governor first pushed for this project, he was asking for $860 million from the state, but state lawmakers pushed the plan even further to a $2.8 billion project. And today the governor held this ceremonial signing of House Bill 4, which is providing funding for this expansion project. And here's what he had to say about what this means for the state of Missouri and this area. One of the other most important things is for all of us just every day, when we take our families down the road and we just want to go out and have a little vacation, we want to have a little time, we want to get to point A to point B, you're going to be able to do that on I-70 like no other state can compare to what we're doing in this state. And I just got done speaking with some people behind this project, and they do tell me that once this gets started next summer, the latest date of this completion will be in the year 2030. So they expect to really get this going and get this done within six or seven years. Reporting live here in Forestall this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.